I was sitting in my office chair one day, kind of in that hypnagogic state that you get to sometimes, and this sentence came into my head. Griffin Mill was broke. He was down to his last six million dollars. And I, with that, of course, I said I had a book to write. What, what I was trying to do with the book was, I, 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 I could see that Hollywood was changing, that, that, the, that the Hollywood order that Griffin, the, the player, w was about, which was the Hollywood order that was established before when, when United Artists and MGM were, were, were established in the teens, that that was over. And that he's 50, 52 years old, and he knows that he's, the two things, he knows that uh, Hollywood is dying, and he knows that he's broke, and he knows that the world is ending, and he wants $100 million so that he can uh, retreat to some island in, in the Pacific uh, with other rich people and be safe while the world turns to shit. And I want to do something about the way that the story paradigms had gotten completely out of control and Hollywood was choking on the Campbell myth. Um, but what was it? one of the things that I, that I came up with, which it turned out to be right, was that he does make his billions because he comes up with a social network, uh, this was before Facebook, and it's a matchup, and all you have to do is give them your social security number. They will then do the rest, because with the social security number, they kind of lock all of your patterns, and then they decide who you should be matched with. So what I wanted to do with, with The Return of the Player, basically, was write the death of the Hollywood novel. That, um, that, and by bringing in, by bringing in, in the web, by bringing in the internet, by bringing in what was killing Hollywood, and, and that he is transferred over to that. <laughs>